what's a guy who's a guy in the NFL right now that you would advocate for making the Hall of Fame, but he isn't like a no doubt shoe and guy. So we're not talking about the Brady's or the Ben's or Russell Wilson's of the world. Who's a guy that if they retired today, you could make a solid case that they belong in the Hall of Fame? Very good question. Good question. I agree. I, I apologize for catching you off guard, but I'll go first then. Something I should have um, thought about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my uh, sincerest of apologies. I want to throw it up to Cameron Jordan, Edge from the New Orleans Saints. He has not missed a game in his NFL career. He's uh, had it right now 164 out of 164. So he's played every game from 2011 to 2020. He's played the first four this year. Um, I think his, isn't his dad in the Hall of Fame? I, 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 I need to fact check that. We need but, to check that. Uh, I know his dad played in the NFL. I don't know if he's necessarily a Hall of Famer. But anyways, he's played every game for 11 years now. He has been um, a menace. He was a former All-Pro. He had 15 and a half sacks in the season. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, no. His his dad was not a Hall of Famer, but he was a solid tight end. He was inducted anyways. into the Vikings Ring of Honor. Okay. That works. Close enough. So as uh, heading into the season, he had 94 and a half sacks, 11 forced fumbles. Like I, I'm not saying 94 and a half sacks is like elite or anything, but he's going to get 100, get to 100 this year, and I think you have to start having that conversation of he was really, really good for a long time. He never missed games. He's always kind of there. He had, has a bevy of Pro Bowl nods. He's an awesome all around player, and um, he may be a team of the decade. You know, he's a guy that I think. 164 for 160 for that matters to me. You know, he's a, a six time pro bowler was an all pro in 2017. He had a 15 and a half sack season. Like I mentioned uh, in 20, 2019. And I think you start, I think he's on the, he's on the board of guys. You have to think about, he might be the, in the hall of fame in the modern era. You know, he's um, officially he's eighth uh, active in sacks, top 50 all time. He's going to play this year and he's going to move further and further up that list so give me cameron jordan as my not no doubt or as my guy i would advocate for making hall, hall of fame i've got two answers okay i'll go with the one who that's the more plausible one first and that's jj watt I mean, he's just yeah damn. dominant oh yeah over, jj watt's a really like, good answer actually 10 he's years been... over 100 career snacks just Really, just a good player all around. Mm -hmm. Good guy. Stuck on the Face Texans. Of just Houston. Right. For a long guy. time. Gave back. Yeah, I think community. that's he absolutely. I, th I think he's probably closer. That's. A, I think that's a pretty safe answer. <laughs> yeah, that's why yeah. I made another yeah. one. All right, give it. My other one is Derrick Henry. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. Agree. Derrick Henry. Is everyone absolutely. agrees with that. But I agree. Oh, I one thousand percent. Okay. No, yeah, I, 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 mean, I don't know. I, he, he's a guy that I would consider like I I'm pretty big in the Cameron Jordan camp, but I would yeah I would say he's Derek Henry's not a guarantee, but he should be. Yeah, I mean, that's the like strongest the runner I think the world has ever seen. Mm -hmm. like, even like he's a modern. I'd, I'd argue he's already better than Jerome Bettis in I, terms I think of he, angry running. Yeah. I, I, mean, <laughs> I would have. I was way. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. <clears throat> I think he's the best running back in Titans history. I, I think yeah. he's right there with Earl Campbell. I think he's a significantly better player than Eddie George was. Sorry, Eddie. But, yeah, I, I'm down with both of you guys. Jack, hit me. Would you say Jalen Ramsey? There's kind of a little bias in there. But I That's feel like, it, one. I feel like yeah. it's a fun one because his rookie year yeah. or, like, his, his time at Jacksonville, like, we knew he was up there as a better cornerback, but he hasn't really shown it off until being a part of the Rams. He was I'd he was an all pro in 2017. He, he was, was awesome he was. Isn't he isn't he like a four time Pro Bowler too? I think. Uh, Something like I, that. I want to say he's three a time, three time Pro Bowl. Three, three time, time sounds pro. more accurate. <clears throat> yeah, um, I, I would say that, and I, I think he'd be in my he'd certainly be in my Pro Bowl guys right now. Yeah, all I think, pro maybe not, but it's it's four weeks. Four time Pro Bowler. <clears throat> he's made the last four, and he's a two time All Pro. We need to see more of this. Has been playing at this level throughout his time with the Rams, if and like maybe mm -hmm. another team in the future too. If he leaves after his five year deal, hopefully not. But he's only um, he is in his age twenty seven season. I throw that is. out there. Age twenty seven season. Um, according to Pro Football Reference, he is number one hundred nineteen on the defensive back monitor. I, I think I don't buy that, but he doesn't. I don't have a buy ring, that. So 
Yeah, he's better than that. But I do want to throw it out there. Uh -huh. He has as many all pros as Mel Blunt. He has as many all pros as Mike Haynes. He has as many all pros as Ken Houston. Those guys are all easy Hall of Famers. So I do want to. You do have to kind of get up there, like five or six all pro appearances. I think he can do yeah, it one hundred percent. He can do it, but. Like you need to differentiate. Like Richard Sherman is not a guaranteed Hall of Famer, and he has three All Pros. You know, Daryl Green was only one time All Pro, but he made it in on longevity. Earl Thomas, I don't know if he's an All. I don't know if he's a slam dunk easy Hall of Famer, and he's only a three time All Pro. So Ty Law was a two time All Pro, but he was on three title winning teams. So I think he has that elite talent, but I do think you need like Charles Woodson had three All Pros. Um, uh champ bailey had three willie brown had five you know um so just you know get that extra get a couple extra, more all pro seasons yeah. get a ring mm -hmm. and then there's a real shot i think yeah i agree then you have because, more of I, like because you're competing with guys that have four five six all pro appearances you know yeah exactly. dion had six Rod i think Woodson we'll had six I think I'll put it this way. He's on a Hall of Fame pace if he keeps playing the way he is. Mm -hmm. For sure. So, I don't opinion. know what I said PFF. What did I say PFF with? Did, did you any of PFF? us mention PFF? You mean, I think you might or maybe PFF. you said pro. I mean, I still agree, Austin. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah. <laughs> um, to an extent, at least. But Okay. I don't, I don't um, recall. Uh, maybe I said, uh, I don't know. Pro football Patterson reference. Yeah, Patterson at a 90 PFF. Uh, oh, yeah, it was a yeah pro football reference. Sorry. But the thing with pro football reference is that it is very, very much not an eye test thing. It's very much a statistical thing. So like number of all pros, number of pro bowls, your stats, stuff like that, that you might care sure. about for the Hall of Fame. But like talent wise, Darrell Revis is an easy slam dunk, no doubt Hall of Famer. But his numbers are the same. But there might be a... I don't know, say it's Sean Taylor. He didn't have the greatest statistical resume, but if you played in the mid-2000s, you might say he's the best safety, right? So it, it takes all of the subjectivity out. So I, I will say that, that the Pro Football Reference Hall of Fame monitor isn't isn't great 